Hi everyone, I'm back again with another AMS2 video, another VR video because um, quite a few comments about how sort of nice it looks and I just thought I'd just do another quick one just to sort of show you again something a bit different, different circuit and a different type of car. So this is Imola, the 2001 layout. So you've got, well you'll see anyway, that predominantly it's pretty much still the same the only difference is the chicane at the top of the circuit which is uh, a lot uh, we'll call it looser and then the final part which is the sort of the, the start finish straight which ha had the chicane put in right at the end of it so um, that is the Imola layout and this is like a, I don't know how you say it, it's probably like a 1990 sort of F1 car, uh, loosely based on that. Now, uh, what you're seeing obviously is VR mode uh, using an Oculus Rift in the evening time in the summer. And I'm on sort of like a times two sort of weather progression. So you're just going to see a tiny bit of a sunset, but, but nothing too major. But again, it just highlights sort of the engine the um the colors and also the, how vr is used on uh, automobilista 2. um a couple of laps in I'll, I'll i'll shut up and you can just listen to the sounds of the car but uh don't expect some fantastic driving it's still a work in progress for me trying to get my head around how on earth you drive these cars um, still suffering slightly with I don't know how to describe it wheel lock up basically whether it's the game or still my pedals I'm still having massive problems with from what I'm used to with other games which is if you want to brake and you want to brake hard you literally just press very hard on the, the brake pedal I'm still having to literally dab the brake pedal and brake far far too early into a corner uh, a few of you guys came up with some suggestions which I've tried that's not worked uh, you're still having to literally feather that brake uh, and the wheels will just completely lock like totally um, so I've put anti-lock brakes on full that's done nothing either so whether or not anti-lock braking is actually working in this beta game I, I, I just don't know but, but either way the, the AI is set to 60 at the moment and it is proper kicking my ass like proper so um, yeah mm, I'm yeah I'm so I'm happy with how the game plays uh, I'm very happy with the graphics just not necessarily happy with how this controller is working uh, or whether it may be something to do with my pedal set um, I'm running T3 PAs with um, the Thrustmaster pedal, so maybe there's an issue there. I'm not really sure. For those that haven't got VR, or those that are thinking about it, and are like thinking, you know, how, how does it work and, and everything like that, I don't want to go into too many details about it, but you obviously need quite a powerful computer, quite a, a high up graphics card just to run VR let alone um, a sort of racing game and obviously you need a racing seat ideally um, but uh, I've noticed today in particular that um, I've been feeling quite sick um, whilst playing this normally I generally don't have a problem or I, I, right at the beginning I had a problem because my head and brain wasn't really used to to this type of thing and slowly over the sort of the last year or so I've managed to sort of tell the brain uh, what's going on and it and it and the sort of motion sickness has calmed down but for today for today it sort of kicked back up again um, I've managed to do this 10 minute sort of race but I've had to sort of just take some time out just to calm calm the head down I can only imagine the reason behind this is well p firstly if I was ever getting sick before that was normally because um, the 
frames per second were very choppy or something like that on a particular game and it was just made, it was just yeah just causing a massive issue with my head um, I've never had a problem with project cars that never used to make me sick um, and nor was uh, ACC uh, and this game to some extent certainly the last couple of days I've been playing it in VR hasn't but I have a feeling it's because these cars are very quick so my head is not liking that too much if I go into a touring car uh, Fiat Uno something maybe that's a lot slower catering etc I think my head will deal with it better but at the moment there's a lot going on and I think my brain's not reacting very well to it so yeah I can't really go f much more than sort of 10 minutes before the, the sort of nausea starts kicking and the, and the I'll call it the sweat start getting on and might sort of get very hot um, so yeah so that's also uh, worth noting but anyway uh, yeah so still struggling with with how to drive these cars nicely you can't really slide the cars that much as well I've noticed you're in the in these particular ones you're pretty much gonna understeer off it, it's very rear sort of to get the rear back to sort of step out it's quite difficult but you end up just locking your brakes and, and understeering off. That's that's the issue with these cars. Uh, Track-wise, uh, Imola has... Oh, see, just start to uh, get it a bit wrong into that corner. Um, Track-wise, this Imola circuit is, is fantastic. Really like how it flows. It's really quick. And, yeah, no real issues here. You can take the curbs quite nicely, as you can see, as you hop on through. Um, running a bit wide there. Um, but I am starting to gain on the AI in front, but not by much. Um, also, just to let you know that the AI is running on approximately, I think I've got it down to about 60, and I'm still sort of struggling to keep with them. But uh, enough of my talking. Um, what I'm going to do now is just give you a couple of laps uh, of the uh, sounds and of the car, just so you can sort of see, um, yeah, just sort of how how the car sort of performs and the sort of sounds it makes on certain corners and things like that. So uh, I'll shut up and I'll speak to you uh, in a minute.
last lap now. Slowly starting to get behind these AI now. Just building up a bit more of the confidence in the car. Sort of really working now that pretty much really feathering the brake is, is going to get me where, um, where I need to be. But um, sort of... Yeah, I hope that I've sort of summed up this VR video. I'm going too deep into this. Oh, we're running off. Okay. By the way, the damage model as well doesn't uh, really work at the moment. So, hence why I can go off, hit the barrier and come back on without any problems at all. Uh, so, only a couple, a couple of quarters to go. And then the sort of the pain is over for this video. And uh, I can crack on with uh, something else. But, um, dive through the chicane there. I think we're pretty much going to finish last. But um, I hope you like what you see. Uh, any comments on the game or on the VR aspect or anything? There's been obviously been quite a lot of chat on my videos, um, more so than my Zeta Corsa, but that's because this game's quite new. But obviously, if you've got anything to say or anything you want to ask, then please feel free. Don't forget, this game is in beta mode at the moment, so the full game's not been released. We're still probably maybe about a month, two months away from that. But uh, yeah. So, there you have it. Uh, yeah, my name's not even there. So, uh, until next time, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.